So gravitating towards the hands of rock stars like Pete Townsend, Eddie Van Halen, and other various artists and singer-songwriters like Robert Earl Keen and Lyle Lovett, Collins Guitars has blazed a trail for vintage-inspired, handcrafted acoustic guitars. With its inception in 1975 on the kitchen table of owner Bill Collins in Houston, Texas, Collins Guitars has evolved into a premier builder of stringed instruments conveniently located just a short drive west from the live music capital of the world, Austin, Texas. Welcome to NAM 2014. I'm Zachary Iola. I'm a luthier of Collins Guitars, but above that, a guitar player and lover of guitars for nearly 15 years now. I've played many guitars, but I truly believe that the ones we built in Austin are the very best. Today I'm going to highlight the need for Collins guitars as well as compare them to others in the industry. And then I'm going to emphasize the benefits of owning a Collins guitar. Please hold all your questions until the end of the presentation. So there exists a need today for classic American builds like Collins Guitars produces. According to Ibis World, over half of acoustic and electric guitars today are produced abroad. And because of this, U.S. manufacturers have had to increase production by automation and mechanization. So you see less hands on guitars than uh, builders like Collins. Also, the aging of baby boomers has actually contributed to the need for Collins guitars because they have more disposable income and they're able to afford nicer things and higher priced goods. This has also contributed to the rise of the boutique market for musical instruments. And also the soaring cost of vintage instruments has contributed to the need because consumers are less and less likely to buy instruments for example, a 1930s Martin might cost um, $98,000. Yeah, they're, they're that expensive. Um, they don't want to pay that when they can pay $5,000 for a model from Collins that's based on that model that can sound exactly like it. So continuing, I'm going to compare Collins to some of the industry giants like Fender, uh, Gibson, and Martin. Uh, according to the industry report, from Ives World on Fender Gibson and Martin. The build time for an average guitar is four to five hours. Uh, they've really mechanized and, uh, and automated their production process, unfortunately. And guitars are rather put together rather than built or crafted by hand by real people. And this allows them to churn out hundreds of instruments per day. Well, it's good for their revenue, and it can be good for consumers too because it's at a more affordable price. A uh, typical cool guitar can go for $99 up to $2,000 for regular production models. Compared to Collings, Collings, the average time to produce a guitar is typically 55 hours. It's a lot longer because there's a whole lot more hands-on, hands-on time. Uh, we do incorporate a little machinery to ensure precision, but most of the work is done by hand. Uh, also, as I mentioned earlier, the average price for a Collins guitar is around $5,000. might seem a little steep, but what you're getting in that $5,000 is uh, impeccable attention to detail. And the people who are building these guitars are guitar players. And compared to the industry giants. These people uh, care about the craft um, that they're participating in and they really care about what they're doing here at Collins Guitars. They really get inspired in the builds that they're doing. Um, these guitars are truly an investment. Um, we, have, we don't hand out guitars to artists. Every consumer pays full price for a Collins guitar and this just goes to show how proud we are of our instruments here at Collins Guitars. And also, the wood that we choose for our instruments are picked from sustainable resources such as mahogany from Central America or Brazilian or Indian rosewood uh, from Brazil or India. 
So next I'm going to talk about the craftsmanship of Collins guitars. First I'm going to talk about the wood selection. So the wood selected for each individual guitar is based on um, the, density, the density of the wood and the flexibility as well as the grain of the wood. It has to have a certain aesthetic to it that appeals to the consumers. Um, next, equally important, is the fit and finish of the guitar. Um, the aesthetics of the guitar is essentially the first thing consumers see when they see the product. For this reason, we, we use multiple, multiple coats of nitrocellulose lacquer uh, on our guitars and sand in between the layers so that it doesn't inhibit the resonance or sustain of the actual guitar. And again, equally important is the playability of the guitar. And for this, for this reason, we set up our guitars over a three-day period so that any adjustments to the guitar, um, or so that the guitar has time to adjust to adjustments that the luthiers have made, and that, so the guitar sounds great right outside of the case. And probably the most important of Collins guitars is the durability. The guitars are really built to last, and they, they almost possess an heirloom type quality. It's an instrument that's going to sound better with age, and an instrument that's going to age physically uh, very well, um, too. Uh, pictured on the left is singer-songwriter Lyle Lovett with um, one of Bill Collins' first, one of his very first builds in 1979. Uh, Lyle Lovett still plays this guitar consistently today, and as you can see, it's in great shape. On the right, Robert Earl Keane, another singer-songwriter with an orchestra model guitar that he's had for quite some time. It's, you can tell it's weathered and beaten, but he still takes it out on the road every day and plays it at every one of his shows. So as you can see, Collins guitars uh, are very well-made instruments. We're really proud of what we do here at Collins Guitars. Uh, we offer various models such as orchestra models, um, dreadnoughts, and parlor style guitars, which are my personal favorite. So at Collins Guitars, we build pristine instruments with an emphasis on attention to detail. My presentation has highlighted the many benefits of owning a Collins guitar. And as retailers and musicians, you have the opportunity to invest in our craft and begin making music today. So we have several product specialists situated at the back of the room. Please see them to provide your specifications for your new Collins guitar or guitars. Um, are there any questions?